Hello, fellow songsters. This week, I listened to nothing but the band Queen and tried to write a similar operatic rock song. And this week, I'm going to try to give you five tips on how to write a song that's original but sounds a little bit like Queen. Tip number one. The instrumentation for the band consisted of drums, bass, guitar, and piano. Now, Roger Taylor played the drums, John Deacon played the bass, and Brian May played the guitar, and Freddie Mercury played the piano. But he also had one of the most spectacular voices in rock music. Tip number two, their layered vocal harmonies were incredibly important in Queen's recorded material. Like the Beatles before them, they're tight, in-tune harmonies really set them apart from a lot of other bands during that time frame. Tip number three, Queen could transform their rock music into different subgroups, like there was stadium rock anthems, there was also pop rock operas, and also real early influences of rock and roll and even earlier. Their stadium anthems like We Are The Champions, We Will Rock You, and Another One Bites The Dust are very simple and can be chanted by thousands of people and is still played decades later in many sports arenas. Their pop rock opera songs like Somebody To Love and Killer Queen and their epic Bohemian Rhapsody are both sophisticated yet entertaining. They're both complicated but easy enough to understand. So I decided to write a song like their more pop rock opera style songs like Bohemian Rhapsody. And the number four tip I'd like to give you is that these songs have very dramatic shifts in tempo, in emotion, and in dynamics. So let's talk about those. The tempo shifts in the song are pretty simple. I started kind of slow, I built up a little bit higher speeds, and then I brought it back down to a slower tempo. That's all that means. For the emotional shifts in the song, I started playing with the F sharp minor chord, which sounds kind of dreary and melancholy, but if it's played softly, it can be kind of pretty. But then the song abruptly stops and transitions to the C major chord played kind of aggressively. It sounds powerful, it sounds triumphant, and in my case, from that transition, it sounds kind of angry, like something big is happening here. Like I've mentioned before, I took a lot of influence from the song Bohemian Rhapsody, which starts with a beautiful piano piece, but then turns into a hard rock guitar-driven song. So tip number five, the lyrics to a Queen style song. They can literally be about anything, but their most common themes dealt with love, with loss, with friendship and togetherness. But they have a lot of curveballs in their discography, like fat bottom girls and bicycle, bicycle. So don't be afraid to try something new and unique because Queen and the confidence of Freddie Mercury, he could write a song about almost anything. So I wrote my song about a wedding that turns into a bloody fight. I thought it was really fitting since it starts very beautifully but ends on an aggressive tone. Now, this song is one of the most ambitious ones that I've ever written. The chord changes are very like, complicated and the rhythm changes were very hard to uh, replicate like Queen would. But the uh, lyrics came out really humorous and the images that I brought forth in my head were um, some of my favorite that I've ever written. So I'm really proud of this one. And without any further ado, here's my brand new original song, The Wedding Nightmare Song. Please enjoy the following. Wedding gown. Walking slowly round a garden pond Rosy bouquet being thrown around It was an elegant affair Until someone laid down a tarot card The ten of swords shook the country yard Christmas lights upon the pergola Couples kissing in the gondola Till someone said don't marry him Wine flowing under lights so dim She threw her showing up against his chin Heard the screeching of a violin And then someone took a swing so much for celebrating Cartel This one flying in a show Faces 
Thanks for listening to my brand new original song, The Wedding Nightmare Song. If you'd like a copy of it, you can head over to benaronmusic.com. Well, today I hope you learned a little bit about Queen, and maybe I inspired you to create your own original song. Please give this video a like, and maybe subscribe if you want to learn more about the songwriting process, because next week we're going to be studying the Electric Light Orchestra, otherwise known as ELO. And please leave a comment on this video for me to sing next week, like these beautiful comments from last week's video. Keep on rocking. I gave away Steve Miller concert tickets here we go. This one sounded really cool, but you always do. Sometimes less chords are better. This Reddit song a week challenge is really making you up your musical game. Nice work, this one suits you, BA. Three chords only, how you make that guitar sing. I learned so much from your series. You dissect, you execute, you entertain, and you inspire. Oh, please, I beg of you, write a song like Rush one day. Okay. 